In this video, we're going to show you how to do a simple VLOOKUP function. Now, the VLOOKUP function is actually short for Vertical Lookup. There's a companion function called HLOOKUP that will allow you to do horizontal lookups. The only difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is the direction in which the lookup function will search for a value. The VLOOKUP function, the vertical lookup function, will look down a column of values. The HLOOKUP function, the horizontal lookup function, will look across a series of values. So one simply looks down a column and the other looks across a series of rows until it finds a matching value. Now there are three parameters or three pieces of information that you need to provide Excel in order to do a VLOOKUP function. And they are the lookup value, the lookup table, and the return value. The lookup value is the cell that contains the value that you're going to look up in the lookup table. The lookup table contains both the cell that you're comparing to the lookup value as well as the cells that are going to contain the return value or the value that you're going to return to Excel as a result of this formula. Now in this example we have a very simple VLOOKUP. In this case we have a number of different crops and the results from those crops. And what we need to do is we need to determine the value of each one of these crops by looking up the value of the crop in the lookup table, which is down here in A20 to B22, and then multiplying that in column E times the weight. The value that we're going to look up is going to be in column B. And again, it's going to compare it to the lookup table, which has the range of A20 to B22. Excel is always going to compare your lookup value to the values in the first column of the table. It will then return a value based upon the column number that you give it. So in this case, we're always going to be comparing the value in column B to the values here in our item lookup table. When it finds a matching value, it's going to look in column 2 of the lookup table and return that value. So now we'll see an example of using the VLOOKUP function to return a value. I'm going to come here and click on cell D2 and I'll begin my function by typing in equals VLOOKUP and then an opening parentheses. And then again remember there are three parameters I'm going to give it. The lookup value, the lookup table, and the return value. Now in this case the lookup value is in cell B2. So I'm going to come here and click on B2. Since when we autofill this function down, we want B2 to update to B3, we're going to leave that alone as a relative reference. If you haven't worked with the difference between absolute and relative references, we have a short video that will explain the difference. Then I'm going to go ahead and type a comma, and I need to enter in the lookup table, remembering that the first column in the lookup table is going to be the column that I compare to the lookup value. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to highlight A20 to B22. You could have also typed that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and type a comma. And the final value is the return value. Now the return value in this case is the value in the second column here. So I'm going to go ahead and type the number 2. So this tells Excel to look up the value in cell B2 compare it to the values in A20 and return the value that it finds when it finds a matching value in column B or the second column. When I hit enter, you're going to see that I get the results. Now, I'm going to have a slight problem here if I try and autofill this down because I didn't make my lookup table an absolute reference. So when I autofill down, you're going to see that I get a bunch of errors here. And again, the reason for that is my lookup table adjusted the reference based upon its new location. 
So what we want to do is really quickly, I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete all these. And then I'm going to double click on the original, highlight those cells, and press the F4 key. And you'll see that that puts in the absolute value dollar signs for me. I could have also just typed them in if I wanted to. Now I'll hit enter. And now when I autofill this down, we should see the correct value for each one of our crops. And now all we have to do to determine the total is to click in column E and type equals C2 or the weight of the crop times D2. And I hit enter and autofill down. Remember, a shortcut for autofilling down, you can drag from that square dot in the lower left hand, lower right hand corner, but I can also double click. And that will fill those values in as well. And it looks like my bottom is a little bit small, so there I have it. So there's a simple example of using the VLOOKUP function to look up a value that you need in a calculation.